We are now in Oslo and uh, outside uh, one of the brand new um, uh, park parking garages. So um, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> this guy he will uh, introduce himself and uh, explain a little bit what this is all about. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, oh. happy to introduce oh. myself. We, we had just had an EV here coming in to this new fine uh, garage for EVs only. So I actually, my name is Sture Portvik. I'm in charge of uh, yeah, the infrastructure for EVs in Oslo. So this is one of two new uh, big uh, parking houses for EVs only. And plug-in hybrids. And uh, plug-in hybrids. So okay. it's probably the first in the world, as we know, that is actually only for EVs. Hmm. And it's uh, located here in the middle of the city. Nice yeah. scenery and so very convenient for the users, of course. So we are very happy about this uh, new site, uh, which contains about 86 uh, places for EVs at the moment. Hmm. And uh, we are building another parking house in uh, the city, which will contain 92 places. So oh, a little wow. close to 200 for both sites. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, so are these open 24/7? Uh, well, they are open to midnight, and uh, you can stand here for free for 10 hours oh. using electricity and so on. But you have to register and uh, download an application uh, for your smartphone, uh, which opens and uh, gives you access to this site. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, should we go inside and yeah, check Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now we are actually walking down uh, in the inner uh, part under the castle in Oslo. And uh, here we have uh, surveillance 24 7, so people uh, shall feel secure. Uh, it's quite advanced with smart grids and so on. Uh, also, we have a little special traffic system, and you can download an application for your own access. So, yeah, I think this will be rather nice. So, hmm. yeah. And well, are there several exits? Or, um, uh, I can show you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the exit for the car is the same. Uh, you just have one way you can drive in and out. So the traffic system is a little bit <laughs> advanced. But uh, uh, when you have parked your car, you can actually go out on the seaside. Oh. Because it's so much closer to the city center. Oh, so it's very convenient for the users. Okay. Uh, and you can see here, the sign tells you how many places are uh, oh, uh, free. Nice. So, 8 to the right, 57 to the left and so on. And also for uh, smaller EVs, uh, we have some parking places inside there. Hmm. And you can see it's quite long over there. Whoa! You, you can see the car coming out there. And here you can stand in the winter, it's warm and uh, nice and uh, good for your car. Hmm. So, yeah, I hope this is a very good uh, contribution to promoting uh, the use of electrical cars in Norway. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, there are 10 hours, you can park for free, you get yeah, free electricity? Yeah. Free electricity. It's yeah. like a great bargain. Uh, well, it's a very nice uh, bargain for the customers, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And what about tourists who come here? Yeah, of course, they can uh, be standing here for free then as well, of course. But, uh, they, have, they, but, have but, but they have to download this application. Okay, but, what, what uh, is required for registration and all that? Uh, well, you need, uh, you need your name and number and also a telephone number or a mobile uh, and as well as the number plates. On okay, the license car. plate. License plate. And you can yeah. also reuse a foreign uh, phone number. Yeah, we wouldn't uh, discriminate, uh, discriminate okay. against that. So, mm. yeah, you are welcome. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, here you can see the traffic signs. It's quite important because the cars are coming down and they as well as going up again. So mm. uh, you have to stop here in a certain zone. You see this line here. And uh, when you stop here, the camera will detect you and you will eventually get green light. Mm. So to make sure that, uh, well, it's not uh, coming two cars at the same time, one up and down. So it's a quite advanced system. But, but it's working, so we tested it out and yeah, seems to be uh, quite nice. 
Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I see there are cameras everywhere. So. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, cameras, uh, traffic cams uh, detecting uh, that kind of uh, things. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's working. And uh, also, you can see that we have sensor placed uh, down on the ground. So, we can actually. Uh, this one? Yeah. Have full control over the number of cars at any time, which you again can see in the traffic system on the sides there. So people will actually know how many places are left to make it more convenient and efficient for the users. Hmm. And when you are have parked your car, for instance, over there, okay, uh, then you can just go this way. All right. And uh, you can leave out here. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the exit. Uh, that's the exit, Utgang, in mm -hmm. Norwegian, exit, and uh, you are straight at the harbor. Oh, I see. So okay. we can have a look if you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, one question. Yeah. Is it, yeah. If, with the app, is it possible to pre-book a, a slot space? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, we are looking at different solutions, testing it out for uh, pre-booking, but uh, at the moment uh, that is more for professional use. Oh, I see. Like the parcel service, the Bring company, mm. in a big EU project we have with them, and Synthet, we have uh, some uh, quick chargers uh, where the drivers can pre-book their time. Okay. And we're looking for a similar solution for the taxi or, uh, yeah, business. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, we forgot to look at the, ch the charging yeah. stations. Yeah. 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 Uh, what yeah. kind of power do you get from them? Well, at the moment it's uh, uh, 16 ampere. Okay. Uh, 230 volt, 16 yeah, ampere. Yeah, yeah. Type 2 only. Uh, uh, type 2 only, and that's uh, due to the new regulations, the NEC regulations. Uh, requiring that you use a type 2 for more than a T ampere. Okay. So we want to give the users uh, more speed, so it's 16. Yeah. Okay, so what happens if um, someone with a Nissan Leaf wants to charge? Because they uh, have a type 1. Well, it's no problem, but they have to pay an, uh, for an extend, uh, extension cable. And it costs okay. around 1,500 Norwegian krona. Oh, I see. Okay. So, so it's possible. Um, uh, of course, we do it also for fire safety reasons. Hmm. Because we are indoor, so we have to really make it as safe as possible. So there's no shuko here? No shuko here. Yeah. No. What about the red 400 volt red plugs? Uh, we don't have 400 uh, in here, oh. so it's 230, and that's uh, very common in Norway because yeah. the grid system is a little bit special. So, yeah. yeah, we want 400 when we can get 400, but often we have to yeah. only be satisfied with 230. So, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's a fossil car, it's so noisy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can really hear the difference. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, uh, but we do uh, welcome all to visit us and uh, to have a pleasant stay in Oslo, mm -hmm. the EV capital of the world, as we like to call us. Yes. So yeah. All right. Let's look at the exit then. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, this is great because. Um, yeah. I know. And, uh, and it's oh. for smaller EVs. Oh, okay, these are the side. small cars. Yeah, yeah. See, wow, lots of space. Yeah, it's a lot of space. So, yeah. Huh. All right, all right, and there's more over there. More over there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, by the way, this uh, yeah. this is like an old facility, or what, what was it before? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's actually what you in Norwegian called an uh, emer uh, a bomberom or emergency room. Oh, yes. So in the case of evacuation and war, people can go down here and find a safe shelter. Yeah, that, is that but but it's, uh, yeah, you can oh. see the water. So, oh, so, but uh, it's okay. still actually a uh, shelter in case of emergency situations. So oh. we have to evacuate within the 24 hours, but that's really no problem since the cars can be here for 10 hours. Mm, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, if we look over here. Is this yeah. the only exit? 
for, for pedestrians? Yeah, yeah. This is the only we have some emergency exit, but this is for a normal uh, walk up. Okay. Out. Right. And we can see out here. Uh, also, this uh, door will be uh, operated by your uh, application on the smartphone. Huh? So you can <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can unlock it. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. you will unlock it and uh, lock it up when you are coming back from work or uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. By the way. Yeah. Inside there, do you have 3G coverage? Uh, we have a fiber net uh, at the moment, uh, and also the mobile net is only 2G at the moment. Okay, but, so but, edge, but you can yeah. use your phone. Uh, we, we thought that would be nice for the uh, users, mm -hmm. and um, you get more security because you know you can always call if there are some problems or, or something like that. Yeah. But also we have uh, cameras all covering the whole space, so people can feel uh, secure. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool.